Thank you for coming to our presentation on the Russian economy, and tonight we are going to convince you to invest in Gazprom. Our ag agenda for tonight is, uh, right now it's happening, the introduction, the advantages and disadvantages of investing in Gazprom. Uh, the most important economic concerns with Gazprom, the uh, inflation history of Russia, as well as what we forecast to be in the future, uh, the GDP and GDP growth, unemployment rate, uh, current events, and currency. So the historical background for Russia and Gazprom, basically uh, what we've learned in macro so far is that the preconditions for economic growth include uh, economic freedom, property rights, and free markets, and if you don't have any of those then the economy can't grow. However, Russia has a pretty bad rep because uh, prior to the 21st century it didn't really have these preconditions. Uh, for example, it was rated by the 1999 Index of Economic Freedom, which determines how much capitalism you can have. Uh, it was rated mostly unfree, um, and it was rated that because it was corrupt, uh, it had high crime rates, crime rates, and it had an organized mafia for production. However, uh, post-1999, it has actually become, it has gained the conditions for economic growth. Um, so some pros and cons of Russia's economy include a large labor force. Um, middle class is growing uh, at a steady basis uh, every year. And uh, also there's been many other positive changes since the 1990s. Um, the introduction of technologies as well as, as well as forward thinking within Russia has improved the economy and the overall livelihood of the nation. On the other hand, we have inflation rate. When currency is devalued due to uh, increasing printing. So let's say like in the 1920s you had a $5 bill and then that could buy you like a refrigerator but then now it actually can't buy you a refrigerator. Uh, and that's because due to inflation over time periods uh, the value of money has changed. So does that make any more sense? Yes. Sweet. Continue. Thank you. Yes. Um, so one positive aspect uh, about Russia's economy is that it uh, has had its lowest inflation rate since February of 2014 um, as food, housing, and utilities, clothing, footwear, transport prices rose at a slower pace. Um, this happened on a monthly basis uh, of about 0.2%. And we, can and we can see this through the graph. Can see that there's a downward trend since October 2015 and slope. also February 2014. So yes. that's definitely really good and it's a good indication of investing. M equals a negative number. So what is GDP? GDP is measuring the value of the total economy and the formula for GDP is C plus I plus G plus NX which is uh, cons consuming um, goods and services, government goods and services, investment, and export minus imports. And as you can see, Russia is the world's leading producer of oil and natural gas. Well, it's one of them. And it's a top exporter of metals such as steel and primary aluminum. And services are the biggest sector of the economy and account for 58% of GDP, which is pretty good. Um, so as we can see by these charts, the GDP has been steadily increasing which is amazing. Actually, this comparison to China shows that it's even bigger. That's from 2013, but still. And um, no, it's a country with a billion people. Very true. Russia's GDP's annual change, and it's in per capita, actually. So um, GDP per capita is an even better uh, estimation of the standard of living. So uh, the fact that Russia has, it's pretty close to the United States, uh, that's that's amazing, and it's a good indication of investing as well. So uh, let's talk about the unemployment rate in Russia. Something we've learned in macroeconomics is that the unemployment rate isn't necessarily always a bad thing. Um, you have to delve into it deeper uh, to completely understand and immerse yourself. So it's declined from 5.3% to 5.2% um, in, in one month. In a singular month, yeah. It's the Pretty great. That's uh, pretty incredible. Um, pretty low overall. Um, that's the lowest jobless rate since September of 2015. As the number of unemployed people decreased by 88,000 to 
4.037 million, while economically active, increased by 0.6 million to 77.5 million. So basically, people gain more jobs. What is that in comparison to the U.S.? Not as good, but you know, close second. Here we have a chart of GDP in comparison to countries like the U.S. Oh, wow. And it actually shows, uh, well, we got China over there, like, psh, darn China. But then we have Russia over here, who is in the top six, which is pretty awesome. So yes. that's a good indication of investment. Yes. As well as another topic would be how the tensions in Russia affect Russia's economy. Um, internationally, the, the rising tensions between Russia and the West, especially the United States, over Ukraine provide a constant reminder of the Cold War, when the two superpowers fought proxy conflicts with Russia. So basically, Russia is competing with other of these giant powers for uh, like monopolies on, on things like uh, Gazprom and oil, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean don't invest in them, that just means that they're providing more competition, which probably means that your stocks are going to be, uh, have more value. I think the question that's burning into your mind right now is, when should I invest? That time is now. You know why? Because it's only expected to grow and to build upon itself into not only the great nation it already is but into a complete and utter superpower that runs the economical sect of our world. And that is also shown through this chart right here. So if you had invested in 2012, look how much money you'd be making. It'd be a lot more money. That's four trillion dollars in 2019. That's, that's a lot. Of money. Current events in Russia that put it on the uh, news, which might have you sitting at home thinking to yourself, like, hmm, why did I invest in my stock? Well, Russia is having some aggression against Ukraine. Uh, we've already discussed that. And currently in 2016, uh, Russia is uh, in the news for supporting Trump in his campaign. And that actually means that more people would uh, support Russia due to the Trump supporters. And there's also a um, Syrian crisis, which is constantly in the news as well. So just so you're aware that this is also what Russia is up to. What happens if Russia invests in a country that is kind of crashing? How does that affect the Russian economy and my investments? Well, obviously, that's not going to be a good thing. It's uh, similar to if you were to invest in, for example, Apple, and they released the iPhone 8, and it was a total bust. You're going to lose money. But... Part of the risk of investing, investing is the reward, and this has reward. So Russia's currency, basically, the Russian currency is very stable, as you can tell through this shaded area. And Russian currency is the ruble, in case you were wondering. And this is Russia's currency is fluctuating. However, it's right near the line, which is the line for stability. So. Very similar to a PPF line. So let's recap. That's <laughs> Lieutenant J.G. Nick Caesar, our macro teacher, who is now an 03 in the Coast Guard. And that's Barack Obama. Two great men doing great things. And you know what? I have true faith that they would invest in Russia. Will you invest in uh, Russia? Or will I'll you invest think in about Russia? It. I'm not sure. Look at that face. Look at that face. And look at that face. Gazprom. <laughs> Gazprom. One of the largest exporters of oil and natural gas in the world. Who are What who, do you have to lose? Why shouldn't I why shouldn't I invest in the other countries competing with them then? Because Russia has a stable economy. And Russia's middle class is constantly growing. It That's has relatable. A huge, it has a huge labor force. It has tons of natural resources. And it's got what a you gigantic in economy. <laughs> no, I was thinking okay. Uh, maybe China, but how is Russia gaining more economic freedom since post-Civil Cold War? Post since the since Soviet Union broke up, there's been countless opportunities for people to actually be people. Such as? Such as starting Gazprom. Will you invest in Russia? Will you invest in Gazprom? Yes. So exactly what is Gazprom? 
It's a global energy company focused on geological exploration, production, transportation, storage, processing, and sales of gas in Russia. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>